How's it going everybody? Nerdy Stan reporting in today, and we are going to be doing a, get this, a quick review. Now, a quick review as in, as you can see, there is no real proper setup, no display or anything to give any, like, good looking reviews for figures, and also no proper lighting. It, it doesn't look that great, so I will need to improve. This is just a quick review of a figure I love dearly that I want to show stock before I up before I customize it so there is that I need footage and pictures of uh th of the figure in question before I customize it so people know what it looks like for those who don't own it with that out of the way let us get to review 30 MDLX Optimus Prime again probably one of my most prized pieces in the collection and is truly one of the best figures of the year easily it is just glorious as you can see he has no hands where shall we start and that would be with accessories of course let us begin with a you know uh them the rules uh the matrix of leadership i will be honest it is not a great matrix it's not the best it's very well thin and it's not really die cast which was really surprising uh blue clear blue for the jewel gold and silver Decently painted, and of course it goes in the chest like so. Take off the whole windshield on these three magnets and two peg holes right here, and just sit it right here. Make sure, oops, it, it doesn't. It sits in okay. It's not very snug. Make sure it sits at an angle, and you'll see why. And I should also address that we will not be going over articulation or comparisons, just to make just to not kill your guys' time. And also, again, it's a quick review. He also has this back piece here, which we will put on after we go over all the detail. He also comes with a wide range of swappable hands, starting with, of course, the no hands. They're all right. It's detailed and painted very well. Love the weathering. They're not very heavily weathered, unlike the rest of the hands, so that's nice. Also has two double pointed fingers instead of your usual single which is actually quite nice again paint, oh, my apologies painted very well and weathered very well oh gosh my focus i do apologize for that uh recording with your phone does not always bode well also has two matrix wielding hands Decent enough, although it is weird having to only do the two fingers, but that's what happens when the matrix is really tiny. He also has two fists, which we shall put on right now. If they will, let's hope they go on, because usually they don't. They go on a ball peg, as expected, as they should, actually. There we go, nicely done. They're very snug in there. He also has two trigger hands. Oops, come on. Two trigger hands. Only one is shown for obvious reasons. And two axe hands. Just the giant gap for the axe. So the fingers are a little more open. Which will lead us straight into the oh so badass looking ion rifle. This is truly one of my favorite, like, designs for the rifle. May look a little long, and for storage purposes, if this transformed, this would be an awkward storage. I agree on that. But other than that, I love how it's just a long rifle. Like, they took rifle to heart, and they turn it into one. I love all the detail of the bells and whistles down here. Magazine, nice detail. Love this detail here. Makes it feel like there's a canister full of energy to fire the weapon. Especially in the back, instead of the usual vents, it's holes, and I like that. And my favorite is the scope. It's very rare you get a prime with a scope, and or an iron rifle with a scope, and it looks very nice. Super seamless, honestly. And it works, and it actually, he can look down it just fine, just to let you know. And he has the other trigger hand, of course, right here. And probably one of the, half the reason I even wanted to get this at all. Oh, this badass looking axe. Check it out. Check out this beauty. 
look at that big orange big clear orange blade and a pick even that's very new like we rarely get a prime with a pick instead of a blade so that's nice check out all that detail on on this on the base of the axe love the hosing and the can just just glorious i will also address that this pick is not sh it's not sharp as it would hurt it's just sharp enough that it could catch on a things be very cautious you don't want to break it it hasn't broken on me yet it has caught on my shirt a couple of times but it's never broken i will give it that it's very very nice looking weapon there's the other axe wielding hand for his left hand just lovely Alrighty, let's take a look at the oh-so-lovely figure. And let us start with that head sculpt. If I can get a good look at it. It is pure money. Just money. <laughs> look at that head. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Lots of weathering, grime details. And silver for the f mouth plate and the head crest. And also, one of my favorite details, the back of the head as well. For venting, love little details like that. He also has the four, t the four antennae, which I always want instead of the two, like the Bumblebee design. Or any other, or many designs actually. Metallic blue for the eyes and an actual custom by my part. I do apologize, I should have addressed this. A custom is around the eyes if you see. That metallic blue is my handiwork. It was originally silver and I agree with everyone it did look a little funky. So now he has proper eyebrows although it looks more like he has eyeliner. I mean come on now. Not like a I mean, we can't have a sexy prime going on out on the nights with the Lita one. Let's go. <laughs> love but of course love all of the detail. I love this armor look surrounding this gunmetal this gunmetal body it just works so well like a man made a truck just glorious the smoke stacks here let's zoom out a little more the smoke stacks here done oh so lovely silver for the forearms yellow for the triangle although missing the two the rest of the arrows but i'll live with it Love the handwork. I love detail like this. I love the pist. I love a uh, strut work for the wrist. Just love it. And gunmetal for the venting here, connected to the exalt the smokestacks. And all that back detail. Check out that spine work. Look at that. That is beautiful. Just beautiful. Got silver, white, black wash. And red for the abdomen and some gun metal as well for the sides. Check that out. They really wanted to bring this G1 model to life by making it look like a robot. Just lovely. <laughs> it is very lovely indeed. Got some silver for the what I assume are headlights. So there's that. More silver and weathering. More black wash grime. Love it. Love to see it. Every ounce, every single inch of this feet, or centimeter even, is painted. Not a lick missing. Not a visible lick. And my favorite, the gunmetal and silver for the vents. Just striking in person. It looks like genuine weathering. Like he's really heated up on the legs. All that black wash on the flaps too. Check this out. Canister here, the gas tank, it's still a little weird, but it, it's there. Got gunmetal for these flaps here. Love to see it. More gunmetal. More silver. Just delicious. More black wash for the the grime of having joints. And probably my favorite part. Uh, and the feet is looking very nice. Love the weathering at the bottom. Realistic. Same with here. Gunmetal and blues. And a little bit of black wash. Oop, my apologies. And of course, I'm turn off the flash. 3-0 logo, as we expect. In the most inconspicuous place as it should be. My favorite part though. Yeah. I love stuff like this. Got an ankle. 
rota rotating disc. I love how that looks. It's not functional at all. It's pure aesthetic. But knowing it's there really makes me smile. As you can see, like I said, we'll go over articulation when I properly go over this figure once I'm done customizing it. This is not the one I'm customizing. I'm going to do it. I have a spare because of the last one broke. My first one broke during shipping. This is my second copy that BBTS just happily replaced. I can't thank them enough. I'll go over the articulation, but as you can see, the ankles are on a dumbbell joint. Uh, die cast, my dad. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. Let us put on the back piece here. As you can see, it goes on... Oh, my apologies again. Wrote, hitting the camera. These two trapezoid ports up here are where these two trapezoid... Oops. Trapezoid pegs go in. You just push it in real nicely. Just make sure you don't push with the windshield in case it breaks. It hasn't broken on me yet, but I prefer grabbing up here. Just pushing from up there. And let's swap the hands out for a quick final thoughts. In which I will state that this figure is truly glorious. And I haven't even gone over articulation. It is just a glorious figure. If you expect an action former, which is what I'm coining, an action former, you expect the most highly articulated figure, and truly, that is what it is. Love to see this stuff. 3-0, you knocked it out. I do not have the Bumblebee, unfortunately, but knowing that Megatron coming out, I'm planning on getting it, both of them now. Truly a highly recommended piece from me. Just beautiful. This is Nerdiest Dime, rolling out.